So let's talk about productivity. I would like to show you two hints to work faster. Um, so look at the first one. The first one is, I think someone mentioned it uh, last week. So I've been playing around the weekend and it's really good. I really like it. So I'm sure you are tired of saving files all the time. And this is very annoying because sometimes you change a file, you save it, but then you, you change something else somewhere else and you forget to save the other one. So you get like a half change yeah. and that breaks everything. And this is very disappointing, right? So look at what I'm going to show you. You go to code preferences settings. You can add a couple of very nice lines here. Look at these two lines. So the first one is auto save. If you create a new property called files.autosave, it accepts few options. At the moment, this is my favorite one because you can set after delay and then on the line below, you say, okay, after delay, but which is the delay in milliseconds? So in this particular case, I mean, you can type 10, 5, 100, play around with it. Depending on the project, you may have to fine tune that. But what that means? So what that means is that do you remember that circle that you get uh, nearby the uh, file name on top, right? When you change something, you get a circle on top yeah. telling you that you should change the, that, that, you should say that change. So this is gone. Once you enable that mode, you don't even have to restart Visual Studio. So that happens automatically. As soon as I change something, look, you see, I'm not saving anything. It's just happening. That's the auto-save. It's the auto save. Yes, exactly. It's really good. I don't need to press command save anymore. It's really good, really quick. All right. I mean, that's the first thing. Uh, obviously, you, I'm going to share the video afterwards. I'll send you the, the correct command you need to type. But this is just to let you know that please enable that because, yeah, I'm really positively surprised how good it is. The second thing I would like to show is also quite interesting. I'm sure maybe you've noticed that if you change your CSS, for instance, I'm going to change the background color. You see, you got the changes in real time, so it doesn't refresh the page. You see, it, you, you don't get any explicit refresh, you, any, any white blink, right? When you change the back, when you change any CSS property, it just happens. Right? This is something that we already nailed. Class, huh? However, that only applies to CSS. If we change our JavaScript, and let me revert that color, if I change the JavaScript, can you see it actually refreshes the browser? I mean, in that particular case, it's not a big deal because our web page is very simple. It takes nothing to render. But in the long term, you are going to build complex user interfaces. And in that particular case, it will take a while to refresh. It will take five, 10 seconds, right? So for that scenario, there is something quite nice that I learned recently about React, which is hot module replacement. Hot module replacement means that whenever you change a component like this one, React will manage to refresh the component without refreshing the view. In other words, if you have 10 components running in parallel, it will just reload the necessary ones. That makes everything just faster. And I'm going to show you how to do it. If you, you need to go to the index.es, which is the very, 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 very root file of your application. And at the bottom, you need to type if, mo you see now, <laughs> that, that's the drawback, right? I'm typing and I'm getting errors because yeah, this is invalid, but that's fair enough. So if I type if module.hot, then, I can type module.hot.accept. Just by adding this couple of lines, look at now, if I change the JavaScript files, look, it's awesome. It's not refreshing the browser anymore, right? Again, I, I, I understand now it's hard to find the benefit. But the more complex your application is, and that will happen, the more beneficial this change will be. Right. Any questions? Yep. No? No. No? All good? Cool. Cheers. That was it for today. Thank you.